Hey guys, so here I'm going to show you how to save your files in UDK. There's a little bit of confusion on like what's the best way to do it because UDK system's a little bit weird. What happens when you make a new project folder? Sometimes it will go by default because it started out as uh, you know the default new packages. It'll be buried in there or, or, or appear in there. And, uh, and when you save it out, you'll think that you're saving it to your um, project folder or I should say your new package. And you won't. You'll be. It'll actually be contained in another uh, project. And sometimes what happens is a disconnect can occur. So I'm going to show you. There's several ways that you can approach this to get this done, so you can save your scene. What I'm going to do is just make some generic items in our environment here. And um, let me go ahead and grab my cube here. So I was in Maya there for a second. Let's go to edit this. So anytime you want to um, edit your geo, you can actually select a face. And you can extrude from here. This will allow you to have some properties for movement. And uh, you can pull. I mean, you don't even necessarily have to have extrude. You can actually grab it and move it out. And it'll automatically do an extrusion. But turning on extrusion gives you a length and segment control. So I'm just going to make something generic real quick. This is me using my brush. This allows me to make an item. Now, if I was gonna, I'm gonna go over something really quick here. If I wanted to make a unique type of object, let me hit the home key real quick here to zoom in on that object. I can go in here. Notice my uh, all my cameras aren't moving around because I went in preferences and turned off my um, link orthographic movement. Um, I can also draw if I wanted to. So I can go to my. Uh, let me see here. Go to my edit mode, and I can go to the pen mode. And as I click, I can draw a new brush, which is kind of cool. It's my space brush. Spacey! Like that. And uh, whatever I can, I try to put in voices. You may not like it. I don't care. Hate me. All right, hit enter. And I can even do an extrusion. I can control how it's going to be extruded, the path on that guy. Or I can just go in here and just do local and do the um, non-uniform like in 3D Studio Max and just scale the guy out and have my unique item. It's amazing. Now if I want to keep this, <coughs> go to my full view real quick. Let me get out of edit mode. You can also just click on the camera. Um, I'm going to now keep this guy. So let's make him. So we're going to add. Now there's control A, and remember there's control S, but that you gotta be careful with because it also not only does it save down here, it can also create a subtract. So if you don't you don't have the content browser selected, you can run into some trouble. I never use it, but you can. Let me hit add. Boom, look at that. Three dimensions. We got a little object here. Let me get my builder brush. I call it builder brush. And that way the one that the result is, I call it my brush. Two different things. Um I know several different names are used. So. There's my unique object. Now, say I think it's amazing. I love you. I love you, Sean. <clears throat> There's a couple ways that you can save this. Now, one, if you wanted to, under New Packages, you can right-click, Save Control, and you'll see it says Can't Save Map Files View the Browser. Not saving until, uh, not saving Untitled One. This happens sometimes just because this showed up doesn't necessarily mean you can actually go in here and automatically save it which people get confused about, which is really kind of stupid. So what you can do to save all at the same time, and this is kind of cool and convenient, especially if you're in the mode and you're working really hard, getting a bunch of stuff done, and you're just focused with a laser focus, you can go in here and you can do save all levels force, or just plain, I would just click on save all. Now save all levels, the only thing is just um, deceiving about this, it'll save a level not necessarily save your package. Now, good versions of UDK will ask you before you close it, do you want to save it? You say yes, save it. Always say yes, always choose where to go. So I'm going to show you a couple ways to save. This is one of the ways. See, you're in the flow and you just jumped in and you forgot to make a new package. This is pretty much what I'm showing you right now. I'm going to say save all. Now, when you save all, it's going to ask you, hey, what do you want to call this package? If you're going to save all, what are you going to call it? So we'll just call this awesome. That's what we totally will call it awesome. Now remember, whatever you name, don't put exclamation points. UDK doesn't like that. Uh, whatever you name it, make sure you put underscores. Awesome, yeah. Okay, hit save. And when you do save it, make sure you save it 
to your content folder. So go to C, go to UDK. Always want to save it here because UDK processes things better in the content folder. So if you use some procedural stuff like effects or you're using some maybe even some foliage, um, you want to be able to UDK to call upon it easily. Earlier, or what was it, last year or the year before, they tried to have it so you didn't have to put it in the content folder. That didn't work out so well because you students that I would have would still have errors with that. So put it in here in the content folder. And I usually choose UDK game, which is fine. You can do engine. Both should work. But game, we can put content here and then make your own folder. So we'll call this demo folder. Demo. Hit enter. And I'll just double click on this guy and I'll save. Awesome. Yeah. Save. And it saves the package. Now you want to save the scene. Save as. So we have this guy UDK. There's yeah. Pretty nice. But we also, let's go in here and watch this. You'll notice we do have it saved because it did like both of them. But let's double check because UDK is not perfect with this. I'm going to go to open as if I'm going to open a package. Let's test this out because if it does work, that's a good thing because it's not always consistent. Yeah. All ready for the new build. All right, let's try this out here. Let's go to our demo. Ah, uh, notice the package did not save. See that? So that's not good. So all we have saved from here, when I save all, it's asking you to save the package. You'll notice we can't really open the package. So let's double check here because it might just be a refresh issue. You all, you always should be able to see all the packages that are in there. Open demo, scroll down. There's awesome, yeah. Let's go to save, control S. Can't save via browser. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. So let's test this out. So by default, we should have saved all. It should have saved it. Save all, should have saved it. Let me go and click on this and so close it out. And let's see if UDK will cough it up. If so, that's a good thing. I'm actually kind of excited about that because I'm actually stumbling upon this because it doesn't always work really well. Save all, sometimes we'll leave stuff out. And that's because if you have too much information, sometimes UDK will not be able to uh, parse where you're at and what you're working with. And you might, like I said earlier, accidentally have one of these other packages selected, like a default one that comes up. And now it should let you allow you to save it through browser. That's why the option is there, see that? But sometimes it won't, which you saw an error on us twice, which is kind of bad. It should allow you to do it any time that you want. So let's go to File Open. We're going to open up. Yeah, UDK. Open that up. There we go. He's there. Yay! Now that's scary. you got to be careful because I always tell my students, you have to save the package and you have to save the scene. So one way you can do it is save all, but really test that out as you go. As your scene gets heavier, it could get a little bit weird. There's also Save All Levels for Save All. It saves it. There's Demo. There's this guy right here. Okay, you can also unload that scene if you wanted to, because they all kind of stay within a catch if they're in that content folder. So I'm gonna do something brand new. I'm gonna close this out. We're gonna do UDK from scratch again. Let's go to programs. I'm gonna show you another way to save your stuff. I actually like saving things this way, but you still have to be careful and make sure you have the right package selected. <clears throat> and the reason why I like to save this is if your scene gets heavy, this can actually work a little bit better. So what I'll do, <clears throat> so I'll go in here, and I'll do new. I'm making a new package, and we're going to give it a name, and even existing packages will be in the subcategories if you want to go and associate the new item. I can actually force a new package from here, because new, it really isn't a new package you're making, you're actually making a new object oh, down here under our factory. We're choosing a new system. The package is just by association. So if I want, I can go in here and change the info on this guy. We'll call this guy, uh, we'll do the package um, demo underscore save. And we'll say demo underscore save. We're just emphasizing our deal here. Animation set, that's fine. We'll hit OK. There it goes. Makes animation set. We don't really need it. 
you'll see we have demo save right here. That is the new package and notice it's right there. So when I do that, typically I'll right click on it and say save package. It'll ask me where to save and I'm gonna say content, save it in the uh, demo folder, demo save, hit save. And then I can save my scene, save as, and then you want to keep the association the same, so I'll go demo underscore save, and I'll call it scene. So I know that's the scene and not just the package. You won't get those confused. Or save over them if you're transferring stuff back and forth and you weren't paying attention to the uh, to the suffix. All right, so cool. This is the best way to save it. Again, I made new, created a package created a name, kept it consistent. There is my scene, there is the package. I right clicked on it, I saved it. You can also fully load, it's already fully loaded so it's not gonna be an option here. But when you first open up UDK and you notice some things aren't showing up, you can click on fully load and load the whole thing in. Now, I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure you remember this. When you open up your scenes, load the package first. Open external package, see that right there? load it here once you load the package then load your scene i'll say that one more time load the package here it has a little folder and then from there load your scene so from there you'll open your scene now again udk is trying to be a little bit more uh, efficient unfortunately it can cause a disconnect when you go in here and you try to um when you go in here and you try to do save all because it'll look like it's saving your package but it won't necessarily save those items and things necessarily things sometimes can get disconnected so you got to watch out for that so keep those things in mind I think that's about it um, there's also a save modified if you modified an item and you guys are using persistent level I gave you guys a link for that from Raven he's got some good videos I just wish you'd have a different tone of voice all right, man. He's a good guy. I'm just goofing around. He's real smart. Awesome. Nerd. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. That's about it.